द वे स्टार्स एंड इट्स रेमेनेंस ऑर्बिट अराउंड इन आर्मिल की वे गैलेक्सी There is always a possibility that a black hole will randomly pass into our solar system, destroying all the planets in the process. So there is one question that comes in our mind: Is it possible that Earth or any of our other planets get swallowed by black hole, or a black hole is far out there to affect us? There are different ways. in which planet earth would meet its eventual demise there are some threats outside our solar system like gamma ray bursts nearby supernova explosions and some threats are inside our solar system itself like giant collisions with asteroids or comets however a death by black hole would be spectacular a black hole offers even a grim fate the possibility of destroying the earth itself entirely the black holes that we know of are too far away to affect us any time in foreseeable future but we know that there are plenty of black holes which are not identified yet and perhaps they are the most dangerous of all when a sufficiently massive star reaches the end of its life its core will collapse leading to the possible creation of a black hole somewhere around 1 in about 800 of all stars that ever will form are expected to create a black hole based on that number our milky way has somewhere around estimated 500 million black holes within it one defining feature of black hole is the gravity not even light can escape from it any matter which intersects with black hole's gravity gets torn apart and sucked in we can observe the radiation it emits in this process we see this around active black holes at the center of galaxies all the time they emit spectacular streams of radiation caused by falling matter for example our galaxy's own supermassive black hole sagittarius a star however such black hole setups are pretty less in fact few hundreds of them in our galaxy so we cannot detect most of them assuming that black holes are randomly distributed throughout the galaxy and there really are few hundred millions of them present this likely means that the closest black hole to earth is only 40 to 80 light years away that's very very different thing to consider from the closest black hole being over a thousand light years away all of a sudden we would think that it's not safe and indeed we aren't necessarily safe If a black hole contacts the Earth, of course, it will swallow us. But we don't need to be swallowed in order to suffer catastrophic consequences. If a black hole simply passes very close by the Earth, it would cause what's known as tidal disruption event, an event where black hole's gravitational influence on Earth is so much stronger that it actually begins ripping our planet apart. as gruesome as that fate is that would still require a black hole to pass very close to earth so close that it's highly unlikely to ever occur what's more likely to occur however is that one of this rogue black holes will pass somewhere within the vicinity of our solar system where it behaves just like any other mass it could perturb the orbit of the earth around the sun in such a significant fashion that we would either get hurled into the sun or ejected from the solar system completely that could certainly be catastrophic for us in order to actually swallow the earth a black hole will have to get very close to our planet so close that there is actual physical contact between the earth and the black hole in this case 
there is only about 1 in 100 billion chance that any planet will encounter a black hole over the past 4.5 billion years. It's important to remember that in many ways our own planet and solar system are like getting a single ticket in the great cosmic lottery. There are plenty of extremely unlikely events that given enough chances are likely to occur somewhere in the universe. While we normally think about this optimistically where planets with right ingredients and conditions can develop life, complex life, intelligent life and even technologically advanced life. But chances of happening this or replicating this somewhere else in universe is extremely low. One piece of good news about all of it is that the odds of any particular catastrophe happening even over the time scale of several billion years is very low for any one system. But with enough chances in the universe, it's practically guaranteed that even the most remarkable of these events have happened somewhere at some point even within our visible universe the quest to discover them all will likely be a never-ending enterprise <laughs>